This is problem number three for assessment number nine. In this problem it says graph the given system of inequalities. They give you a circle equation. <clears throat> and they also give you a linear. So first thing I want to do is I want to rearrange this linear equation so that I have it in slope intercept form. So I'm going to subtract x on each side. That's negative y greater than or equal to negative x plus 6. And then now I'm going to divide by negative 1. <clears throat> and that's going to give you y less than or equal to x minus 6. So now we have this linear in slope intercept form. The circle equation, the center for that circle, because the original equation for a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Well, you notice that there's no h and k, which means h and k, so the center, must be 0, 0. And then r squared is 36, so that means that we're going to have to say r squared equals 36. When we square root it, we get r equals 6. So the radius of the circle is 6. Let's go ahead and draw this out. I'm going to mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. My circle is centered at 0, 0 and goes through and has a radius of 6. So it's going to go around here like so. And where do I shade it? Well, let's test the 0, 0, 0, 0 solution. So if I plug in 0 and 0, 0 squared plus 0 squared is 0. Greater than or equal to 36? No. So 0, 0 is not a solution. So I'm going to shade this outside of it. Let's go ahead and graph this uh, linear here. We start at negative 6. And we have a slope of up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. So we've got a bold line that looks like so. Now which way do I shade this one? So I plug in 0, 0. Is 0 less than or equal to negative 6? No. So 0, 0 is not a solution, so we're going to be shading it this way. So that means that my solutions are going to lie outside of the circle underneath this line here. 